I'm Dan Quinn, originally from McLean, Virginia, and I created the video about the tiers of wine that form around the edge of wine glasses. Most people who drink wine have seen the weird drops that form around the side of the glass. Traditionally, they're called tiers or legs of wine. But what most people don't realize is that if you watch patiently, these drops are actually moving around. My favorite part is when I'll be at a party or something and someone has a glass of wine and they're twirling around and they see the legs of wine and the tiers of wine and they say, oh Dan, you know, come explain this to us. Students before lab, like I can, I can see them in the hallways watching my videos. Um, and then also during lab, I'll sometimes they'll like have it on their phone and they'll be like, well, what did you do in the video? Just, just bring it up on your phone. Oh, my students think it's super cool. <laughs> uh, they, the second they heard out that I had a video on YouTube, they were like really excited. The mushy food lands in your stomach where gastric acid and chemicals break down the food even more. To be a, a really good teacher, you just have to be a really good communicator and you need to also be able to relate to your students. I think that a good teacher is engaged and supportive and responsible and should treat uh, his or her students with like respect. If you put yourself in an ivory tower spewing forth wisdom unto the masses, like that's not going to help anybody. The truth is, uh, your students are just as smart as you are. You just happen to know a little bit more than them for the moment. You know, when you're teaching it, you know it all very well. But when you're telling it, when you're teaching it to someone else, you can't. You have to think of what they're thinking. And when I make the videos, I sort of keep in mind what questions pop into their head first. If you're telling me that we have a seeing threshold just like how we have a hearing threshold, wouldn't that mean that there's light waves? I think what's really important is that they love it because when a teacher loves something and they teach it to you, you sort of love it too. Usually when I create a new video it's because I found something that's really exciting that I want to talk about to people and so I kind of can't not talk about it and I want to get it all into one thing that can be my packaged you know, delivery of this idea to the world. The thing that, that excites me the most about video making is actually YouTube comments uh, because of the nature of the content that I produced it didn't really attract a whole lot of trolls. Uh, so all of the comments were just uniformly constructive or helpful, or they would say, David, you screwed up here, but they would say it like real politely. Other fantastic comments include, that was tolerable, and I did not want to blow my brains out after watching your video. Uh, those are from harsher critics. Okay, so one of my biggest worries about putting things on YouTube, um, you know, YouTube's notorious for critical comments, mm -hmm. and I don't care about that. That's much better than no comments in my mind. But I was worried that my mom might, you know, she's naturally going to watch videos. She cares about what her son's doing. And I don't want her to see people saying bad things about her son. No mother wants that. So I was a little bit stressed about that to start because I don't care. That's just critical feedback, especially with education. So it was a bit of a relief when, at least, you know, so far, people are by and large very, very nice about it. The, the initial feedback I got from my students about the videos and providing that has just been amazing and I never thought that it would be as as well received um, and of course I also never thought that that would lead to being here at Khan Academy. And so I would, I would encourage anyone who wants to do this, who thinks they have something to say about history, science, mathematics, uh, to, to just go out there and, and give it to the world. I feel like teaching is the best way to learn sometimes. Each professor, each teacher, each tutor has their own style and I think any person can bring out their own style from their personality, from the way they think about things. That's something that only they can offer and they can offer it the best. I hope my videos show that, no, if you break it down into one step after the other, you can really understand even the most complex phenomena.